Hey, is this real? I can't tell. Welcome to 2016. Yeah. Woohoo. First video where. No. No. Sorry. No. No. We made something on New Year's Day. Yeah, we did. Second. January 2nd is when we did our. What is it? Gody I, stuff. I don't remember what day it was. <laughs> our our gaudy stuff was January 2nd. I don't fucking know. Or no, it was New Year's Day. Yeah. yeah it was Every day is the same. Yeah, pretty much. For the most part. But not today. No. Because we saw The Revenant. We did. Uh, yeah, The Revenant came out yesterday, January 8th. Uh, we just saw it. It's the new movie with Leonardo DiCaprio, Tom Hardy. Leonardo, no Oscar. Uh, get it right. Da, Domino Gleason. And that's kind of all that matters. Yeah. yeah for most of them. And other cool people. Other cool people, but like but. not... They don't have either... They either don't have substantial roles or... They, you know, they're just kind of there. Yeah, so. Yeah, so The Revenant is, it's actually, I believe, kind of based on True Story. Mm -hmm. Um, And it's basic, it's a very simple revenge tale without Mm -hmm. spoiling too much, but it's done in a very different way. Uh, And the events that happen are very different than your typical revenge tale. Um that's about it in terms, plot of, plot. In terms yeah. of plot. It's very simple, but it's very, very powerful and very gripping. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, let's dive into it. What do you guys think of it? Alright, well, I mean, kind of like you said when we were coming out of the movie, it's a very slow burn. Um, but, but it's so, like, it just kind of grabs you from the get-go and you're just kind of like... You, you don't realize that almost three hours has gone by by the end of the movie. Uh, very visual. God, the visuals were fucking beautiful in this movie. Yes, they were. Because <sighs> I believe they actually shot, like, actually, like, outside in yeah, Montana in probably, like, negative degree weather. Yeah, it's, um... Well, I'll let you finish it. No, I mean, like, there, there's really not a whole lot to say. I mean, the... Leonardo DiCaprio, if he does not win an Oscar for this movie, I don't know what it's going to take. Because when they said that Leonardo gets raped by a bear, they didn't mean it literally. But figuratively, he got destroyed by that fucking bear. Yeah. Uh, It's okay, though. And I I said this joke earlier, but I'll say it again. In, like, 25 years, they'll make a movie about Leonardo DiCaprio. And the actor playing Leonardo DiCaprio will win an Oscar for it. So, it'll, and it'll be great. <laughs> That'd be like the biggest F you that Hollywood can give him. Yeah. Uh, this movie's really good. Like, um, for the most part, you you, uh, you get to meet the, uh, the three main characters, which is uh, Glass, Fitzgerald, and the... Pff, fuck, I forget the other guy's name. Then the captain. Played by Dom. I don't Gleason. think they really give the captain a name. I think there was the, Hawk. He was kind Hawk. of an important character. Yeah. Hawk is Glass's son. Glass is Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. Fitzgerald is Tom Hardy. Yeah. Uh, and then what's his name is Domino the Gleason. captain. Yeah. And like, and that guy Domino Domino Gleason. Domino Gleason. Gleason is General Hux in Star Wars: Force Awakens. Also, uh, Bill Weasley in Harry Potter. Yeah. yeah. So he's he, he, he's getting around. A yeah. Bit. I, uh, I think, I think he's sleeping around, sleeping around a little bit. Like a he's, motherfucker. He does he's, a very good job. I think. Even though he's not really in the movie much, when he's like actually in the scene, he does a very good job. Yeah, he's a. Uh, you, you see that there's there's a, a lot of moments of conflict with him without going and spoiling like a lot of the plot. Like it's there, you can see that he's grappling with, you know, a lot of moral things of. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of decisions. A lot of decisions. Maybe maybe to steal a line from, again, the other franchise. He's from 
Harry Potter between doing what is right and what is easy. Yeah. Oh, so um, but yeah, Leonardo DiCaprio. Okay. He didn't say that line. He didn't say that line. He didn't. So, um, but um, both uh Leonardo and Tom Hardy both do uh fantastic jobs. You know, Tom Hardy does a good job of making you not like him. You feel I like would say like and again with not spoiling too much, he kind of you can kind of almost see him if, if if he if he weren't if he wasn't written for you to completely dislike him you could maybe not see him as a bad guy yeah i mean like i honestly felt conflicted about his character at first like he's the antagonist of this movie and then like as as like the kind of like the intro to all the characters and stuff went on you're like oh yeah all right yeah i can see this guy's all about you know semper I and fuck the other guy yeah like the uh but like yeah, his actions you can kind of I, at least the way that I saw it was that a lot of his actions you can kind of just be like or either like oh, uh, crap I fucked up, and he's just kind of reacting. But because he's naturally written as an unlikable character, that's what makes him a bad guy. He he, he can almost easily be played off as like maybe not necessarily a good guy, but like you know somewhere in the middle, like not necessarily not really an, an antagonist, but you know. Like he's just you know uh, like a mid a middle ground character, a gray character. Actually, uh, which I thought was 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 kind of cool. That going by the definition of the words, you can almost call Tom Hardy the protagonist because he's the one that actually kind of really advances the plot of the movie. True, and then of course Leonardo DiCaprio does you know everything in his power to uh, you know make this movie as real as possible. <sighs> You know, again with the, uh, the scene with the bear, and like all kinds of uh, all kinds of other shit, like you know, getting buried alive, get like you know, just all grimy and whatnot, and especially with those two, it, it, the movie's very raw. Mm-hmm. It's a very raw movie. A lot of like shit that like you know, um, you wouldn't expect to see in. Uh, in a movie, kind of like this, like, like, like the, the whole bear sequence goes on for like five minutes, and I'm like, whoa, like you, normally, like somebody the bear the bear thing would happen to be done in like thirty seconds, and then boom, movie goes on. But no, this was like, it was like, uh, like something that was just kept going. I thought that was cool. Um, yeah, that's all, that's all I'll say for right now. Yeah. To me, this movie would not be as good as it is without Leonardo DiCaprio, and there's no way in hell anybody could play that role. No. No. Better. No. It's the perfect role for him, because he puts so much into his performances, and it's just, yeah. He said said it's very, very raw. Like, his recovery is super raw. And... That's where this movie could lose people, is in that time, right there. To me, I thought it was extremely interesting the whole time, and I'm glad that they played it out as long as they did, because if they didn't, we'd be sitting here going, he has all these injuries, and and there's no way in that time period that, you know, he could recover that fast, you know? But that brings me to one of my, it's very nitpicky. This movie doesn't do the best job of communicating to you uh, kind of locations of characters. Mm-hmm. Like, where's uh, Fitzgerald, uh, Tom Hardy's character, in r- relative to Leonardo DiCaprio's, relative to the Native Americans, you know? Relative it's a little bit confusing, Captain. and also just time frames is a little bit confusing yeah that that's one of the only parts where i was like i'm just slightly lost in terms of timing yeah I, I i i was thinking the same thing because uh for much of like when he's you know pulling himself out of the ground he's crawling away yeah and then like a couple scenes later they're showing the native american showing up to there and it's like oh well he was just there like are they gonna find him but then it turns out he's miles away and it's like oh all right well okay i didn't know that all right so, yeah like, I, I will agree with that they the movie didn't really do a great job of portraying the you know how much time it actually passed between you know certain scenes yeah um but this movie is extremely visual driven 
and just acting driven if that makes any sense like it's about the character's actions rather than their words most of the time like there's not a lot of dialogue in this movie at all leonardo DiCaprio barely says anything he probably says fucking a hundred words this whole movie he doesn't say anything no Uh, if you count like if you count like the native american so yeah i mean but i thought it was fucking cool i'm like this guy doesn't have to say anything and he's the most interesting fucking guy in the whole movie you know? Meanwhile, Tom Hardy's just going off. It's like, hey, where was this in Mad Max? Yeah. Another actor in this movie that I recognized was Will Poulter, uh, which was, uh, I forget his character's name. He was, he was uh, Fitzgerald's wingmate. Oh, uh, Bridge. 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 Is Bridge. Uh, what was it? Yeah, J- Jim Bridger. Bridger, Bridger. that's what it was. Uh, he played in uh, We Are the Millers. No. That's right, yeah. I knew he looked familiar. Oh. Which, what a two completely opposite fucking movies. Uh, he was really, really good, too. This movie's also very... There's there's some action in this movie. And when there's action, it's extremely violent. And, oh, yes. And it's it very, very graphic. Lots of blood and, and gore. And, and, uh, Have a and strong then, stomach. Yeah, and then some of the the things that the characters have to do it's almost like walking dead like of like that's fucked up you know yeah. what i mean like meatball oh medicine god you know like when like when leo like cauterizes his fucking oh yeah throat was... wound with gunpowder yeah uh i also felt the camera work in just the shots in this movie were just so fucking perfect yeah, it's so well thought out. Even even like the action scenes for the most part, like just the perfect shots, how the camera would sometimes, you know, almost pan around and then go up the dude's gun and just like oh, I was gonna say the God, the, the whole so the whole opening with so with the, with Glass and Hawk when when they're hunting the uh, the caribou is like really mm-hmm. good. I was like Yeah. Also and it's, it's all one shot. That whole thing is like all one and shot. And you would know awesome. the most yeah. about like like actual like Film techniques out of the three of us. Yeah, it's. I mean, that, that, that's like, you know, obviously handheld, and it's all like again, all it's all one can. shot, and it's so cool because a lot of a lot of movies anymore, quick cut, 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 especially with like action sequences, you're going boom, 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 and it's like, what the hell is happening? Or even just any kind of sequence, and in this is just, it just glides on through. It's even, really nice. Even during like the like the really action like fight scenes, the camera really didn't like move around all that much. Yeah. Yeah. I also thought the sound design in this movie was fucking on point. There was a couple moments where it was just kind of breathtaking. Uh, the one scene that got me was uh, damn it, I I forget what exactly happened to Leonardo character uh, but he's just breathing and then the camera like pans up and oh, looks yeah. over the mountains as the sun's setting mm-hmm. and it's just him breathing the whole time and I'm like I think it was, that was right before he met the <sighs> so good. one pony dude maybe, maybe but yeah. I don't know but it's it's incredible and it's really a good movie but if you're not one f- for movies that are just kind of slowly unravel over time in terms of storytelling, this is not your movie. No. Don't watch it uh, because you'll get bored very quickly. Maybe even fall asleep. <laughs> in my defense, I haven't gotten a full night's sleep in like the last three nights. So that's my defense. So, and besides, it was only for five minutes, and I don't get the feeling I missed too much. No, no, you really did. Out of out of two two hours, two hour thirty minute plus. I don't think five minutes is going to kill me. <laughs> anyway. Eh, I'll go see it again. I got a free movie ticket. Fine. I won't fall asleep next time. And I'll be like... Bop. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking good movie, man. Yeah. It's great I movie. mean, without spoiling a lot. I mean... And it's really hard to talk about this movie without spoiling a it's whole just, lot. I mean, it's just all yeah. really, really, really well done. Yeah. All of it. Fucking... Tom Hardy is really getting in a lot of big movies, man. 
Yeah, he's fine. Dark Knight I didn't, Rises. I didn't like. I didn't. I didn't hear of him before Dark Knight Rises. So yeah, that me, me Like that was the first movie I heard of him in, and then now, I, he's like in those that. two together were just so fucking good. And Tom Hardy got to stay scruffy for this movie, yeah. like he usually likes to be. <laughs> and he was, he, what, he was Mad Max. He was supposed to be in Suicide Squad, but then I guess he opted out of that one. Yeah. And then yeah, so I forget what else he was some else, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, go see the Revenant. It's very yeah. good. It could very well be the best movie of 2016. And it's and only two weeks fucking in. a little over a week into 2016. Yeah. But it'll be tough to beat this one. Yeah, this is a damn good movie. Guys, you might not want to take your girlfriend to go see it. No. Well, maybe she'll get all like jumpy and scared and then she'll latch on to you. Like, and then she'll look away and it's like... This. <laughs> this is a very much of a guy. I could movie. see, yeah, it's a guy it's movie, a but it's also like a, a, it's a fuck movie. Like you kind of put this on, and then you're like, we're kind of bored. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect, the perfect uh, fodder for Netflix and chill. Yeah, just have this as background noise. <laughs> background noise of like I, a of, guy getting of, mauled by a bear, or a bear, or. Uh, <laughs> Leo gutting a horse. Oh god! Just like or uh, yeah, just like anything like that. Like when you say like when you say the sound design was on point. Yeah. Like that like even my stomach kind of turned a little bit when it was gutting that horse. So yeah, there's a lot of a lot of good stuff in this one. Definitely check it out. Fun film. Also, if you're easily offended by language, you definitely <laughs> want to see this movie. No. No. Don't watch Django Unchained either. Another <laughs> no. Leonardo DiCaprio movie. Uh, don't watch a lot of Leonardo DiCaprio movies. If you don't like the word, if, you, if you don't like if you don't like the word fuck, don't watch The Wolf of Wall Street because you're gonna get a lot of fuck. three hours of it. Yeah. Uh, all right. Scores. Scores. Oh fuck. Score. Uh, I'll give it nine point five out of ten. Solid. Very solid. I'll give it a nine out of ten. Nine point five. See it. <laughs>